So hey guys, I'm back again. Um, I'm tr going to try to do these videos without editing or anything. So, if, you know, if my dog barks or Ray walks in. Because I really don't see my pause button on here. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to do this one on the medication that I take. And you'll see why I overcame those fear of taking medicine now. So let's get started. So this is a natural calm. I take it for restless leg syndrome. Uh, my legs, especially now that I take the infusions. After the infusions, it's really bad. So I usually start taking this right before. Uh, my legs will start jumping and spasming. And I found this works better than any drug the doctor tried to give me. It's just magnesium. It has no GMO. It's vegan. And I usually use one teaspoon and the directions are on the box. You can get this online at Amazon a lot cheaper than at your health store. I get it online now. I'll try to hurry. This is called Relief. But what it is is turmeric curriculum. Now at my health food store it's seventy six dollars for a two month supply. And I can't keep paying that. So I did go online at Amazon yesterday and my favorite vitamin company is called Now. So I went there on Amazon and I found that they have the turmeric cure them lot lot less we're talking three times cheaper than this so i did order them because i'm almost out now this is for inflammation and uh you you can take like two in the morning two in the afternoon and two at night and i'm telling you guys this stuff is awesome it's a natural way to hold down our inflammation and it does help in the pain factor okay next is of course our calcium and magnesium. This is calcium with vitamin D so that you absorb the calcium. And we all need this for our bones, especially if you take prednisones or have been on it for a long time, you really need your calcium. I get this through now at Amazon. And this is CoQ10. Now there are different brands, lots and lots and lots. This, if y'all will notice in another video, three years ago, they found I had a 40% blockage. And I was taking 200 milligrams of this a day. This is great for people. You know, if your doctor tells you you need to start taking fish oil, fish oil stinks, you burp it, and you taste it. This is much better. It has like omega-9 in it. It doesn't give you any taste. And as I go up in the milligrams, the pills get bigger and bigger. They are the gel caps. But people who don't have trouble swallowing pills, it's okay. I can't swallow big pills. Anything bigger than an Advil. So everything I take, I have to open it up and put it in something. So I do 200 milligrams because it's smaller. And it, it is the gel caps. But I do two of these. Anyway, on my 40% blockage, when I went back the next year, it was gone. This really will help with blockages. So that's your COQ10. It is for your heart health. My next vitamin, of course, vitamin D. I started out when I first had lupus taking maybe 20,000 units. But now I do a maintenance dose of 2,000 a day. I get it from now. Alright, so now let's start on this. The only pain medicine I take now is tramadol. It has been considered a class. It's been it's now went up to a, a narcotic. It used to not be until last year. Now they're calling this a narcotic because somebody's abused it. I only have 50 milligrams. My rheumatologist wanted me to half that, which is 25, and take it with a Tylenol. It did. It does help a little, but when I hurt really, really bad, it's not going to do anything. But it's better than nothing. 
And then my other one is the greatest thing I've had lately for about a year is muscle spasms between my shoulder blades. And I mean, the pain is so bad, my blood pressure will shoot sky high. It's from the pain. And this is uh, Flexoril, and it's only 10 milligrams. It says I can take it three times a day, but of course I'm at work, so I can't. So I take it as soon as I get home and then at bedtime if I need to. And it has helped with the muscle spasms. Those things were out of this world. I don't mop because that will be bad. I can't sit in one place a long time like on my computer without moving around. Anything like that causes the muscle spasms to be horrible. Okay, so let's get into daytime medicine. Uh, actually, the sarsaparin I started taking at night because it was messing with my stomach. But uh, my uh, new doctor just put me on an aspirin a day, which I thought I should have been taking anyway. Uh, and uh, the Prilosec, 40 milligrams in the morning for the stomach. I didn't have to start taking the stomach medicine till I had to start taking the Plaquenil. The Plaquenil messes with my stomach. So you gotta take a pill for a pill. Uh, and this is my Plaquenil. Now, most of you take 400 milligrams. I can never get up that high. It makes me too sick. I take 200 milligrams, and I actually have to half it and take only 100 in the morning, 100 at night, or it'll mess with me. So that's as high as I can get on the Plaquenil. Uh, this is my blood pressure medicine, Toprol. 25 milligrams. I have SVT, super ventricular tachycardia, where my heart gets, starts beating really, really fast. I've had that for about 15 years, and it's a horrible feeling. I won't do without my blood pressure medicine. And this is my Lexapro for my anxiety. I won't do without it either. So that's my morning medicine. So at night, I take a Zyrtec. I was taking Claritin. But I've took it for so many years, it wasn't helping anymore. And so I take the Zyrtec because I am allergic to so much stuff. I have allergies. But I take it mainly because of the Plaquenil. If you have started experiencing itching beyond control, like tiny needles sticking you all over since you started taking Plaquenil, that's why. So I take the Zyrtec at night, and it helps keep the itching from the Plaquenil under control. And I also take Zantac, 150 milligrams stomach medicine at night. If I don't take this, I get that throwing up in the middle of the night when I sleep. So I have to take this. It's for the Plaquenil. Yeah. And I have to be careful at what time I eat and what I eat before bedtime. And then I take Singular. I've been taking this for 15, 20 years. It's an allergy medicine, and it really does help hold down the, the allergies. And then, trying to hurry. And then, this is the Lipitor for my cholesterol being so high. They wanted to put me on 40 milligrams. I told them, no, give me 10 milligrams, and they did, and I actually had that, which was 5 milligrams. And my blood work comes back good now. You know, you don't have to start out, me, this is me, I don't have to start out on the highest thing there is, even though my cholesterol was way high. No. Uh, give me the lowest, and they didn't even know I was half in this, which I'm not telling you what to do with your medicine. No, no, no. But I wanted to see if it worked, and it did. So instead of 40 milligrams, I'm, t I'm only taking five. And most times, if they give you any kind of medicine like Lipitor for your cholesterol, they're going to tell you to take the fish oil. Now, some of the doctors will say CoQ10 because they know it's better. But the CoQ10 is good for, for putting back what your cholesterol medicine takes away from you. And... I believe that is it. Yay! So if anybody has any questions about any of it or anything, you can see now how I overcome that fear, right? 
when the symptoms and everything was so bad I couldn't take it no more. Yeah. But most importantly to me is no dairy, no gluten food. I try to stay with only chicken when I eat meat. I'm not a meat eating person, so that's not hard for me. I love vegetables. On Sunday, I make two huge bowls of salad. And that will last me all week. I love eating salad. So I can eat them every night. Plus our green smoothies we take. During the day at work, it's harder. I stop and get a sausage and biscuit or something on the way to work. Four o'clock in the morning when you get up, what can you do? And then I take a sandwich, but I use Hillshire sandwich meat because it has no antibiotics, no growth hormones or nothing. So I usually take a turkey sandwich for lunch. Sorry, my dogs want to go out. But that's pretty much what I eat. And uh, I do love my chocolate. If I eat it, I try to stick to during the day at work, not at night. And uh, so yeah, guys, if you got any questions or you, need, you want to know anything, just let me know below. Bye.